Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gage 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today we are back with the A-Frame House. Um, this is Revit 2019. Um, I did a video on this previously, um, but I just want to show you all how to manipulate the mullions that are in your curtain wall system. But let's just say we want a different pattern or a different design. Um, I'll just show you all how to do that. So um, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so in this 3D view, let's go ahead and see what we got here. Um, let's go ahead and put it on the front. I have my mullions already in here. So what you can do is if you click one, just like if you're adding a door into the glass or replacing the glass, you just have to unclick this pin here. You can go ahead and delete that mullion like that. Um, let's just go ahead and delete all of them. So we'll just unpin and delete. All right, so now we are left with grid lines. And let's go ahead and put this in front view. So if we select our grid line, all right, so you can get rid of these grid lines. Um, or you can add grid lines, but let's go ahead and unpin it and let's select this button add or remove and we'll select what we want to remove and we'll just hit delete. And we should be able to do the same here. All right. Okay. All right, so now we just have our glass surface here. Let's not mistake the rear. Here we go. So we have our glass surface here. We don't have any grid lines. So what you'll do is you'll go up to architectural tab or architecture tab and you should see curtain grid. Okay, curtain grid. So you can just place your curtain grids like so. So let's just throw one. All right, let's throw one. Um, down here like this. And it comes with a mullion. You can go ahead and get rid of it if you want to. Or you can just... I prefer to get rid of it. I don't want it to come with the mullion because I want to center it or I want to place it the way I want to place it. So and you can move it anywhere you want. Actually, I'm going to cut a section through here. It can work a lot easier that way. So let's cut a section through right here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and center this, which I believe it is centered. We'll take it from there, from there. Is that the same point? All right, and we'll just equalize that. Okay, so that's centered. Unconstrained. Let's add another grid line. We'll do one here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this mullion. And we'll center this one between here and here, equal. And the thing is, sometimes it'll just throw in a mullion for you. Um, if you have it where you want it, then that's okay. Uh, let's see if we can just mirror this one over. All right, there we go. And it brought the mullion in. So then you just uh, select mullions and you can just start adding your mullions like so. And if you want to do, say we want to add another horizontal, just add another one here, like somewhere up here. 
it'll add the mole in for you. Give it a nice, a nice aesthetic. Um, and do whatever pattern you want to go with. Uh, if you want to make double doors here, you can make these two single doors. Um, you can just make one entrance on that either side, but how, however you want to do it. So that's how you can manipulate the mullions on your um, curtain wall. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in downloading this file, you can find it at gates3designs.net. So thanks for watching and have a good day. Hey everybody, I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings, you can come here and under SketchUp Models, you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos. If you notice when I start my models, it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form, that, that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings. Whether it's Thea Render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp, you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.